Hi, so um, this week's column was about lash extensions, which you have done in a salon. Um, but I also get asked all the time how to put on false eyelashes that you just buy in boots or wherever. Um, in the past few years, you'll have noticed it's just this really weird thing where false eyelashes have become really mainstream when they used to be, you know, for strippers and fancy dress parties. And now um, people wear them all the time, um, but they're quite tricky to put on. I'm going to show you how to do them today. It's a bit fiddly. Um, you won't get it straight away, but if you follow my sort of method of doing it, um, you should pick it up in no time. So before you even start, um, you need to put on some black eyeliner and some mascara. The reason you need to put on black eyeliner is that you won't get your lashes, your fake lashes, right, right, right on top of your natural lashes. It's much more likely that there'll be a little gap, a little strip of skin. And it's really hard to get makeup in there afterwards to fill that gap in, so it can look a bit strange. So put your eyeliner on first. You can always add on more later if it gets a bit smudged or whatever. And also put on your mascara, because if you put your mascara on fake lashes afterwards, it's fine for the night, but you just won't be able to use them again because they'll just get kind of get all clumpy, you won't be able to get it off. So do your eye makeup first, and then choose your lashes. So when you're choosing your lashes, you may want natural ones, you may want really kind of retro 60s ones, you may want mad fake ones with feathers and diamonds and all that sort of stuff, depending on where you're going. They all basically go on in the same way. Um, so I'm gonna show you some kind of party lashes today, but not sort of crazy ones. And before you even start doing anything at all with your lashes, before you get involved with glue and makeup and all that sort of stuff, you need to check that your lashes fit you. Now, when I say fit you, they need to be roughly the right size for your eyelid. If they're too long, they will fall off because what will happen is the bit at the end will hit your skin or the side of your nose and it will just peel the whole lash off and also poke you in the eye, which isn't very comfortable. So take the lash, Try it on, start from the outer corner and then place it on top and straight away I can see that these lashes are too big for me. My eyes are quite small and they obviously tend to err on the generous so that um, they can kind of fit most people. So I can see that that is going to fall off and needs cutting. So I'll take it off. When you cut lashes, you always need to cut them from the outside end because that bit is fuller. If you cut them from the inside end, you're cutting off the tapered bit that makes them look natural. So what you'll have is this big jump from your natural lashes to your false lashes. So cut off a little at a time from the outside edge. I'm going to cut off, I think, probably about that much. You try them on again. <clears throat> So the next thing you need to do is put on your glue. Um, for this, I use some tweezers, but you can use whatever you like as a sort of spatula. You take the glue and pierce the top, and I just use the back of my hand. Then, you take the eyelash, and I generally start by just sort of dipping it in the glue. Make sure you cover the ends of the lash because that's where they come loose and that's where they fall off throughout the night. So make sure you get plenty on the ends. Now eyelash glue dries invisible um, so don't worry about getting too much on. You can use quite a lot and you want to entirely cover the band of the lash with glue. Now the next bit is where most people go wrong. Don't now try and put the lash on because the glue is too wet and it'll start sliding all over the place and go in the wrong place and you'll start messing with it and the lashes will get sort of bent and tangled and stuff. Just leave it for a few seconds to get tacky. You know, a bit like when you spread um, Pritt stick on your hand or something when you're a kid and you get that sort of tacky feel where you get strands. That's what you want to happen to the eyelash glue. You've left the glue for a few seconds. Just see that it's of tacky to the touch. Now you're going to put your lash on. There's no easy way of doing this, it's just a matter of getting used to it. Look down, take the lash, start from the outside, forget about the inside at first, 
place the lash on the outer corner and then curve it round to the inner corner as close to your lash line as possible. Then take some tweezers, take the handle of the tweezers, not the points obviously, and just start pressing the lash kind of down towards the lash line and into the skin. Don't worry about the mess of the glue, it will dry invisible. Pay particular attention to the ends of the band because those are the bits that come loose. So you can see there that those are now stuck on. You can still see the glue at the moment, that's fine. It doesn't take long to dry. And I'll close my eyes so you can see what's going on there. So leave those and we're going to go over them in a little bit with eyeliner to make sure there's no mess. And now I'm going to move on to the next eye. Take the lash, dip it in, get plenty of glue on, then wait a few seconds for the glue to get tacky. Consistency of Pritt stick is the key. Take the lash, you can use tweezers or you can do it with your fingertips. I'll do it with tweezers this time so you can see. Look down and place the lash on your eye from the outside in. Always start on the outside. Move it across your lash line and then with the tweezers just start poking it. I would recommend you use the blunt end by the way, it's only because I've done this a few times. Poke it into your lash line, pressing it in. So lashes are on, glue has dried. Um, as you can see, they make a really big difference. They're not for every day, obviously, but um, nice once in a while if you have a fancy occasion to go to. Um, when you get back from going out, you need to take them off, obviously. So if you peel them slowly from one end to the other, just so they keep their shape and put them back in their carry case, they should be okay for four or five goes. You just need to pick the old bits of glue off, which should come off quite clean. Um, have a go, let me know how you get on in the comments section. Don't worry if it doesn't work straight away. It is a bit of a fiddly job and it does take some practice. But if you follow that technique, a few goes should um, see you a bit of an expert. Thanks.